What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're gonna be continuing our What Players Wear on the Field series. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering Seahawks wide receiver, DK Metcalf. So there's a couple reasons we're doing DK Metcalf. First reason, he has tons of really cool equipment that I wanna cover. Um, second of all, you guys have been blowing up our YouTube comments with do DK Metcalf. Um, if there's a player that you guys wanna see featured in these videos, we've done, I think eight or nine so far, um, but comment who you guys wanna see in the next video below right now. Um, we check those comments, we really look at them, and that is how we decide who you guys want to see and what videos we're going to make for you guys. So if you guys are new to the What Players Wear on the Field series, or you just want a quick little refresher, here's kind of what we do in these videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a player, for this video it's going to be DK Metcalf, and we're going to cover their equipment, head to toe, so helmets, shoulder pads, um, visors, cleats, gloves, you name it, um, anything we can identify on DK Metcalf on game day, we're going to talk about in this video, and we're going to give you guys a ton of really cool information um, we're going to talk about the colorways he wears. We're going to talk about where you guys can get it, why DK wears it, um, and just all the really fun information behind the equipment. So for these videos, we start up top and make our way down. So here we go. Let's get right into it. We're going to start with the helmet. DK Metcalf is one of the many wide receivers to be wearing the Riddell Speedflex. DK Metcalf has been wearing this helmet since his days in college at Ole Miss. The Riddell Speedflex initially debuted in 2014 and has been the most popular helmet in football for the last couple of years. Not only is the Speedflex super popular, it's also one of the safest helmets on the market. It scores a perfect 5 out of 5 on the Virginia Tech helmet rating scale. The key to the Speedflex's success is its flex system. So obviously the name Speedflex, um, the Speedflex has a flex panel, as you guys can see, and it actually flexes to absorb contact, but then the entire shell and the face mask actually flex to absorb contact as well. So basically the whole design is that it absorbs contact, which prevents it from getting to your head and it is one of the safest helmets in the game. So now when it comes to identifying DK specific model, the Speedflex has so many different specific trims. Um, it's kind of hard to identify which one he's wearing. Uh, but based off of the photos I found and my own, you know, what I what I would guess, I'm going to guess that he's wearing a regular precision fit. Um, it could be a diamond precision fit, but I can't really tell. So Riddell Speedflex precision fit is a helmet that is custom fit to a player. What Riddell does is they send out a rep or somebody um, to scan a player's helmet, and then they custom fit the pads to fit that player. So no other player can wear that helmet except the player that the helmet is created for. Unfortunately for us regular people who aren't NFL athletes like DK Metcalf, the precision fit option does not seem to be available right now on Riddell's website. Um, the only one they have is their regular base model, um, Riddell Speedflex. If you guys are interested in getting a regular Riddell Speedflex, our good friends over at Green Gridiron just got a whole bunch in. They're selling them for about $440. So if you guys are interested, that's it? Usually it's five. Wait, hold up. Riddell Speedflex Blackout Adult. 440 Wow. Nice. What a steal. All right. <clears throat> if you guys are interested in getting that regular Riddell Speedflex, our good friends over at Green Gridiron do have some in stock right now they're about 440 dollars which is a pretty good deal um, for one of the best helmets in football just something to keep in mind as you guys watch this video if you guys like any of the products you see in this video every single product is going to be linked in the description so this gives you guys the ability to take dk's locker and literally just shop it right there um, some of those links are affiliate links so that helps us out so if you guys do that we appreciate you guys so much for that um, but yeah, keep that in mind. You guys can literally shop DK's entire locker in the description. Really cool. So now continuing on our way down, we're going to talk about DK Metcalf's chin strap. Um, for his speed flex, he just has the regular Riddell hard cup chin strap. Um, his is white. It has the cam lock straps. Nothing too fancy. It's just the stock chin strap that comes on speed flexes. Um, if you guys do want to get one of these chin straps, Green Gridiron has them in a bunch of colorways for $30. So yeah, check them out. Link below. Now for DK Metcalf's face mask, he wears the SF-2EG-SW face mask. This is a stock face mask from Riddell. It offers the regular oral protection, and then it also has some eye guards on the side. Honestly, I love this look, especially for a wide receiver. Um, I'm a big fan of eye guards, as you guys can see from um, at least this helmet setup. I do love my eye guards, and I think they look really good. Just some fun info for you guys. DK Metcalf has used pretty much the same helmet setup since his days at Ole Miss, which... I think he was drafted in like 2019 or so. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but so he's been rocking the same thing for a couple years now. Pretty cool. If you guys want to purchase this face mask, also known as the SF-2EG-SW face mask, they are $90 from Green Gridiron. Now it's time to talk about one of the most iconic parts of DK Metcalf's look, and that's going to be his Oakley 20% tinted visor. It can be a little bit tough to identify specific visor tints, but I'm pretty sure DK is wearing the 20% because that is the darkest from Oakley and DK's looks incredibly dark. I don't even know how he sees out of that thing. Um, also, just a fun fact, that 20%, what the 20% means is that's how much light is able to go through the visor. So 80% of the light is blocked out, and then only 20% comes in. This visor, hands down, looks absolutely amazing, but I'm really concerned. I have no idea how DK Metcalf sees out of this visor, especially in night games. I was watching DK. It was like a Sunday night game, I think. Um, he's wearing this visor, and it's dark. I have no idea how he sees through it. Um, it's really dark, but he still makes plays, so I guess it works for him. 
But as you guys may know, the rules in the NFL and pretty much every other league on the planet is that visors must remain clear. And this is a safety thing in case you get knocked out. Um, trainers want to be able to see your eyeballs. Um, but some players are able to get away with wearing these tinted visors, and that is most likely because they have a doctor's note. Um, is it a real doctor's note or not? Who knows? Um, but DK Metcalf must have one of those doctor's notes um, to be able to wear this visor in games. If you guys want to get your own Oakley 20% tinted visor, um, be warned, they are really dark, but you can get them for about $60 from Green Gridiron. And Green Gridiron also has a bunch of other options as well. So now let's talk about another super important part of DK Metcalf's look. And this is one of the funnier pieces of equipment that I've seen on the football field and that is going to be his battle sports binky mouth guard if you guys have ever watched dk metcalf he wears a mouth guard that resembles a baby's pacifier for me it's so funny to see a grown giant man like dk metcalf wearing a binky in his mouth but somehow he pulls it off he's got to be one of the few players on the planet um, that can wear something like that and actually make it look good he's worn this mouth guard in a couple different colorways i think he's worn like a pink and yellow one and then most of the time he wears one that matches the seahawks uniforms so uh green blue um, but overall, it's a really weird look, but it looks good. If you guys want to get your own Battle Sports Binky mouth guard, Battle Sports has them on their website for about $25. They have a bunch of colorways, but a lot of them are sold out. Uh, so get what you can. I'm sure they're going to restock soon. Uh, but a really, really unique piece of equipment. Now, as we continue to make our way down, we are going to talk about shoulder pads. DK Metcalf is one of the many athletes in the NFL to wear the X-Tech X2 shoulder pads and back plate. So not only are X-Tech shoulder pads one of the most popular in the game, they are also one of the most customizable, which is perfect for a wide receiver like DK. These pads allow for DK Metcalf to have maximum range motion, which is, of course, important for wide receivers who have to go up for those jump balls. So obviously, DK Metcalf is kind of a freak of nature. So these customizable shoulder pads allow him to have protection where he needs it and then still have the range of mobility to make the huge plays that he makes. Also, these shoulder pads are pretty lightweight, but also still really protective. He wears these shoulder pads with an X-Tech backplate to protect his lower back. The only downside to these shoulder pads is that they are very expensive. Obviously, that doesn't really matter to an NFL athlete like DK Metcalf. Um, but the shoulder pads themselves, the X-Tech shoulder pads, are $500. And then the backplate is $75. So you're looking at $575 for DK Metcalf setup. But that's before any of like the small customization details that he has. Now we're going to make our way down to the arms. On one arm, sometimes two arms, DK Metcalf wears cover roll turf tape if you guys have ever watched dk metcalf on game day you'll notice he has a piece of white tape on either one elbow or both elbows and what this is it's cover roll turf tape which is going to help protect him against turf burn or various cuts obviously the elbows hit the ground a lot especially as a wide receiver getting tackled um, so that just helps protect his elbows from turf it's nearly impossible to identify turf tape because it's literally just a thin piece of white sticky tape um, but what i've heard from nfl players is that most of them use cover roll tape which is just kind of a like medical adhesive tape to help protect you. Cover roll just kind of comes in these rolls and either the players or the trainers just cut it to whatever the player wants and they just put it on, bam. If you guys want some cover roll, uh, turf tape, adhesive tape, whatever you guys want to call it, it's about $11 on Amazon. And again, everything is linked below. So now on DK Metcalf's other arm, he wears an older style Nike Hyper Strong padded arm sleeve. Like I said, this is one of the older Nike Hyper Strong pads. I can't really pinpoint the year. Um, but the elbow pad itself is kind of bulky, and that's how it kind of lets me know that it's one of the older ones. DK Metcalf has worn this sleeve in white, navy, and even that crazy bright Seahawks action green. It's a good-looking sleeve, and obviously it's probably protective. It helps protect his elbow from bumps and bruises, and it adds to that swag factor. So he's got the, the elbow turf tape on one arm, and then the padded arm sleeve on the other. Overall, it's a pretty clean look. I don't know if I'd rock it myself, but it works for DK. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this is an older sleeve. So I did find you guys like an old link to an Amazon um, but it's a hard sleeve to find because it is like 2015-ish would be my guess. Um, so it's an older sleeve, but I'm sure you guys might be able to find it on eBay or somewhere else. Now let's talk about DK Metcalf's gloves. So over the last couple of years, DK Metcalf has worn a couple different models, but mostly the Under Armour Spotlight gloves. So there's two different pairs of spotlights that I'm going to talk about in this video. The first one is what I believe to be the 2020 pair. I'm a little bit spotty on my Under Armour knowledge. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is the Spotlight from 2020. This Under Armour Spotlight has a nice mesh back of hand and Under Armour super duper sticky glue grip palm. So this glue grip palm is going to help DK Metcalf make those crazy red zone grabs and hold on to the football. Also something that's definitely worth noting, if you guys don't know, DK Metcalf is an Under Armour athlete. But this past offseason, Under Armour ended their on-field licensing agreement with the NFL. So what this means is that on the NFL football field, the Under Armour logo cannot be displayed. If you guys look at this photo of DK Metcalf Spotlight Gloves, you'll notice he has a black oval covering the Under Armour logo, and that is part of that, you know, no more on-field licensing for Under Armour in the NFL. So yeah, basically the Under Armour logo cannot be seen on the field, so either it has to be fully color blocked or they have to block it out like they did with that oval. 
So DK Metcalf still appears to be an Under Armour athlete. He's been wearing their stuff since he first entered the league in 2019 or so. Um, he doesn't look like he's going to change out anytime soon. If you guys want to get this specific model of Under Armour Spotlights, they're about $45 from East Bay. We will have a link for you guys in the description. Now, occasionally DK Metcalf wears a different Under Armour Spotlight, and I'm pretty sure this pair came out around 2018. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a little bit different, um, but it still has a mesh-ish back of hand and Under Armour's glue grip. When DK Metcalf wears these Under Armour Spotlights, he usually wears them in an all-white colorway, so nothing too flashy with these. If you guys want to get these gloves, they're a little bit tougher to find, so you guys got to try eBay. Um, like I said, they're an older glove, three, four years old. Um, so they're kind of tough to find, but they're still a good football glove. All right, guys, we finally made it to the bottom. Let's talk about the cleats. So I'm going to talk about two different cleats. The first pair is going to be the Under Armour Spotlight. For DK Metcalf's cleats, he's been wearing the Under Armour Spotlight from 2019. He's been wearing these cleats since his rookie season. It doesn't look like he's going to switch anytime soon. Um, he seems to be really comfortable in these cleats, and he's balling out every time he puts them on. As far as colorways, he's worn them in a couple different colorways. He's worn a darker green pair, a gray pair, and then also an action green that goes with those color rush uniforms for Seattle. The gray and darker green cleats that you guys see in these photos actually have a suede upper, which is a very nice touch. Um, they're incredibly hard to find, so I don't even try, um, but they're very nice. From a performance perspective, I've never been a big fan of the Under Spotlights. I think they are incredibly uncomfortable. Um, they give, I've heard so many terrible, terrible stories about heel blisters in these. Um, there's very minimal padding in the back, so I'm not sure how DK gets away with that but they're a light skill football cleat pretty solid traction plate overall if you guys are interested in finding these older style under armor spotlights you guys are going to have to check ebay because like i said this came out 2019 which is two almost three years ago now um so they're an older cleat um not super sought after so the prices might not be too bad um but definitely check ebay also if you guys can't find any of these um there's a new under armor spotlight which is pretty similar um it's actually pretty much the exact same cleat and these also come in suede so you guys can also get these. There'll be links for everything down below in the comments, in the description. Second pair of cleats that DK Metcalf has worn this season is the Nike Vapor Untouchable Pro 3, which was a really weird cleat to see him in because like I mentioned earlier, he is an Under Armour athlete. Can't really figure out why DK Metcalf wore the Nike Vapor Untouchable Pro 3 um, in two games this season. My guess it was some kind of equipment emergency. Uh, maybe his cleats were wet from practice. Maybe they didn't ship with the team. I have no idea because it's very weird for an Under Armour athlete to wear a nike cleat especially with the nike swoosh exposed like it was um, but either way i mean if you guys want to talk about this cleat this is one of the best cleats ever from nike so i don't really blame dk for wearing these um they came out in 2018 they have this amazing carbon fiber traction plate super springy um super amazing traction and this is a very sought after cleat now so if you guys want to get this cleat it's going to be a little bit tougher to find um they do have them on StockX go and then of course you can check ebay as well so you guys can check them out at the link below so there you guys have it there is dk metcalf's gear head to toe if you guys want to buy anything that you guys saw in this video like i mentioned we have a whole list of links for you guys so you can shop his locker directly hope you guys did enjoy this video i want you guys right now to let me know who you guys want to see in the next video and we will read those comments and we will make these videos for you guys we love doing them you guys love watching them um so again hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did consider like comment subscribe for more videos just like this one my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thanks again for watching another episode of Footballers.